You know, we're looking at rain and wind and hopefully we don't see any of this kind of stuff. But before too long, we're actually going to see this, right? Which means power outages. A few hours is really not that big of a deal, but we've had outages just this past summer that lasted several days. I had just given birth and I was breastfeeding. I had my whole freezer full of breast milk and so I panicked. This mom was able to save her milk bank by not opening up her freezer. Consumer Reports food safety experts say a full freezer's worth of food will stay frozen for about 48 hours if the door remains closed. Your unpowered refrigerator can keep food at a safe temperature, which is below 40 degrees, for about four hours if you don't open the door. Now, some homeowners insurance policies will cover the replacement cost of spoiled food in the case of a power outage, but you got to keep in mind you need to meet your deductible so it may or may not be worth it. Now let's talk about generators because they may be your answer instead. Generators can go months or even years without being used, but keep in mind the fuel in them can go bad over time. That can clog the engine's carburetor or fuel lines and it may not start when you actually need it. To prevent those clogged fuel lines, keep the generator's fuel tank empty. Have at least 10 gallons of fresh gasoline on hand and add a fuel stabilizer to your stored gas. When you're using a generator, the most important thing to do is never run it inside the house or in a garage. You want it as far from the house as possible, a minimum of 20 feet, and make sure that the exhaust is directed away from windows and doors. And just a reminder, as soon as the power goes out, go to your settings and switch your phone to a power saving setting, such as airplane mode or low power mode so that you can save on that battery.